you're welcome to my channel uh, we are still handling topic six business research skills which is called data collection in research yeah and in this video we are going to be looking at the factors to consider when designing a questionnaire in our previous video we de we defined what a questionnaire is an instrument that is used to collect data in forms of questions drafted in such a way that the respondent will have answers We'll have to answer the questions and then return the questionnaire to the researcher. That is the questionnaire method. Yeah, and it's under the methods of data collection. So in this video, we are going to look at the factors to consider when designing a questionnaire. The first factor to consider is that keep the research problem on mind. This will guide you in formulating appropriate questions for the research. Maybe if the research problem is decline in sales so you will have to formulate questions in like you have to formulate questions relating to decrease in sales or relating to sales something like that so you have to keep the research problem on mind and this will guide you in formulating appropriate questions for the research then questions must be simple and in line with the intended response and audience like don't give hard hard questions that need that need research that need someone to first do research in order for them to answer yes so questions must be simple then draft a rough copy of questionnaire to check the sequency and formats before coming up with a final questionnaire you can first draft a rough copy to see whether it's really good the next step is to revise the draft and remove all the technical defects. And then after that, you carry out a payload study to test the questionnaire. Payload studies like sampling. Yeah, you, you give the questionnaire to a few people to see whether it works. Then after, after the payload study, you may decide to edit the questionnaire or not edit. Yeah. Then after that, you make sure the questions are straightforward with clear directions of how the respondents are supposed to answer and the, are supposed to answer the questions so that you eliminate any difficulty in answering. So those are the factors that we are supposed to consider when constructing a questionnaire. First, keep the research problem in mind. Then questions must be simple and in line with the intended response and audience. Then after that, you draft a, a rough copy of the questionnaire. Then you revise the draft remove all technical defects, carry out a payload study to test the questionnaire. Then lastly, you make sure all questions are straightforward with clear directions of how respondents are supposed to answer the questions so that you eliminate any difficulty in answering. Now let's look at the factors to consider when selecting a method of data collection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw three methods, main methods of data collection, and that is observation, interview, and then questionnaires. Yes, so which factors are you supposed to consider when selecting the data collection method to use? First is the type of inquiry to be carried out. Like, what do you want to know? Do you, do you want more detailed information? If you want more detailed information, it's better you carry out an interview. But if you, if you do not want detailed information, you can decide to use a questionnaire. Yeah. Then available resources in terms of people and funds. Yeah. If you have funds, you can use the observation method. You travel by yourself, you can see things on your own. Yeah. But if you have limited funds, you can use the questionnaire method because it's less expensive. Then time available to do research. If you have enough time, if you have enough time, you can use the observation method because it really takes time. But if you do not have time, you can decide to use the questionnaire method. You just email the questionnaires to the respondents and they respond and then return the questionnaires. And lastly, the end user and nature of inference to be used. Yeah, they also matter when selecting the data collection method. Yeah, so that so those are the four factors to consider when selecting a data collection method. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, 
share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be introducing topic 7 which is called data processing analysis and presentation